Hello everyone, today we are going to be making Scottish Cranachan. As soon as I talk about food or I'm on camera, the boys want you to see it. So who's first? Who's coming up first? Oh, you'll get seen as well. So there's Merlin, say hi. Wave. Hi. Hi. Hello, oh, there's Neville. There's Neville the grumpy one. He doesn't care. Okay, so today, I have, this week actually, I just haven't been able to get into town to do any filming or anything like that. But never one to let you down. I thought we'd go back to Scottish food. We haven't done Scottish food for a while. Um, and instead of just sitting eating, I'm gonna make something. You, if you are followers of the channel, which hopefully you are, and if you haven't, and this is your first time, hi. Uh, yeah, my text message alert is a TARDIS. So, so yeah, so we're gonna make Scottish Cranachan. I've never made this before. I don't even know if I've had this to eat before. So this is gonna be fun. So for those of you who have, you know, watched us before, you'll know that when we tried to make shortbread, or when we tried to make Scottish tablet, both of them turned out really well. So I'm sure this will be, this is supposed to be really easy. This should be really easy. So we'll be fine. Before we get started though, I just want to say a massive, big, huge shout out and thank you to these incredible people right now. These brilliant names you can see in front of you right now are the uh, amazing, incredible, favourite people in the world who support the Broodfords on Patreon. You guys are incredible. You know how much you mean to me. If you want to support us on Patreon, I'll leave a link in the description down below. If you support us on Tier 1, then I will randomly put messages and questions up either about the channel or thumbnails or just random bits and bobs. If you support us on Tier 2, then you will get that, plus you will get one extra video a month. And if you will support us on Tier 3, you get both of those things plus another video per month. Moving on. Um, so, Cranachan. Cranachan. This is the Scottish dessert. I've never had it. And I don't know if I've seen it a lot in restaurants really either, to tell you the truth. Uh, but it's an easy one for you to try at home. It's a proper easy one for you to try at home. And you want to know how I know that? Because I'm trying it at home. I think that's the easiest way to sort of know that. So, ingredients. Four tablespoons of honey. One tablespoon of Scotch whiskey, or as we just call whiskey here. Um, about 200 grams worth of raspberries. Six tablespoons of oatmeal. I have 150 grams of, well, it's cream cheese. If you're going to do this the Scottish way, it should be crowy cream, uh, cream cheese. You're probably going to struggle to get that outside of Scotland, so cream cheese. And 200 mils of double cream. Okay, first up, you want to gently roast the oatmeal, the oats, okay? So that's all we're doing right now. It's exciting, isn't it? You've essentially got my back to you while I cook. This, I think, is reasons like that why I'm not a professional presenter. Right, anyway, so as you can see... No, you can't. You can't see anything. Yeah, it's just a gentle roast right now over a low heat. Now, apparently... It's, I'm supposed to keep doing this until it gets to, you know, a light brown sort of colour or it smells like roasted nuts. No pun intended. This isn't very exciting right now, just roasting some oatmeal, so let's cut to future me. Hello, future me here. <laughs> um, so that's that done. I've, I've now roasted them, believe it or not. I got bored, got slightly bored when I was doing it, standing there, essentially moving about some, you know, oats on a frying pan, got distracted, talking to the dogs, and some of them maybe a tiny little bit burnt. Just a, just a little bit. Just a little bit, but I'm sure that'll just add flavour. Okay, so that's all the cooking part done. That's all, that's done. That's the cooking part. For the rest of it, all I need is one of these. Okay, so, um, I need my whisk. What I have to do next, I am proper, I mean, you guys are getting me cutting from bit to bit here, but can I tell you, I am making a proper pig's ear of this. This should be the easiest recipe in the world. I am knocking things over. I am burning the oatmeal. 
This should be the easiest recipe in the world. And somehow I feel like it's already going wrong. And all I've done is roast some oatmeal. That's all I've done. Do not, do not invite me around to your place to make dinner. See, the truth is, I can cook. I can cook dinner. I cook dinner all the time. But for some reason, when you guys are looking at me, out the window, it's you lot. What I have to do first is whip up the double cream. Now, I've got to get it to a really thick, you know, whipped cream sort of state, just a gentle, because after that you start adding things. So, double cream in a nice patterned mug goes into our mixing bowl. Would you judge me if I drink the rest of that? Yeah? Okay, I won't do it. On camera. And just to show you the rest, okay, look, we have the, I'll just call it cream cheese, because then you know what it is. Cream cheese in a nice flamingo mug. Honey in a nice <laughs> lined mug. Whiskey in a nice little glass, which actually we got for Christmas. It was a Bailey's sort of cream drink thing, so th I thought that would be nice to hold it. And raspberries. In an incredible Hulk bowl, you're probably getting a view into, well, me now, really. Okay, so let's whip this up. Takes a while, doesn't it? Oh, it's getting, it's getting there, it's getting there. What you guys can't see is the dogs just looking at me, licking their lips, as if I'm going to give them whipped double cream. Not happening. So you can see, I think, I'm only guessing, I'm guessing this entire thing, okay? You've, you've probably figured that out by now. But let me show you what state it's at. So you can see, I've, it's just starting to get thicker. See that? That's the point it's at. So, cream cheese. <laughs> gracefully going in. So let's start whisking again. This gets thick quicker with the cream cheese in there. Honey, and it goes. Whoa, look at that, look at that. You know, since I never get to really do this sort of thing, I'm enjoying this way too much. Way too much. Have you guys have to think that um, if you suffer from hay fever, you should eat honey, local honey, from the area you're in, because it'll help build up a um, tolerance to the plants. That, that You heard that? It makes sense to me, don't you think? Anyway, I'm mixing in the honey now. You know, I don't think there's an order to this. If there is an order to put in this stuff in, I can guarantee you I've got it wrong, but I'm doing it this way anyway. But last but by no means least, the whiskey for flavoring, apparently. Now I think I really just need to, to whisk it till it's a proper, you know, whipped cream. Oh, you can really smell that whiskey. Oh, that actually kind of looks okay. I know it's essentially just whipped cream with lots of stuff in it, but it looks like whipped cream with lots of stuff in it, so I think I'm doing okay. Next up, dishing it up. That's it! That's it! That's it! That's, how easy is this? So this is the easiest thing that I could possibly show you how to make. Apparently, I don't know the story for Kranikin, I don't know where it comes from, but apparently it is something you'd pr it's a dessert, and you'd eat it usually after a burn supper apparently, but it's a dessert, so you can eat it when you like. Uh, we don't, you know, I don't usually make stuff like this, so we don't have a dessert nice dish, almost like a Knickerbocker Glory kind of dish or anything like glass or something like that to serve it in. So I'm going to make it in a wine glass. Kirsten and I don't really drink wine. These are only brought out at Christmas when her parents are here. But I'm going to make it in this. So, apparently, truthfully, I think you could layer this how you prefer. But... Few raspberries. Oh, I don't like the look of one of those raspberries. Don't like the look of that one. Change it to this one. That's a far better raspberry. This one. That's a far better raspberry. Okay. Or maybe one more. One more. One more. There we go. Okay. Raspberries on the bottom. I tell you that this really smells of whiskey. This cream. There we go. Well, a little bit more. A little bit more. There we go. Make it look nice for you, don't I? There we go. Alrighty then. 
There we go, nice bit of the whiskey honey cream. Then, my oats, remember my oats, which are perfectly roasted. Well, there we go, perfectly, perfectly roasted, sprinkled oats. Still a bit warm, actually. And this, this how it's looking so far. See that, and the glare from the window, a little bit, there we go. Honey whiskey cream. Honey whiskey cheese cream. I don't know. There we go, just layer it a little bit. More raspberries. Like I said, I think you could truthfully layer this however you think, really, because I think I've already went wrong from the instruction thing I, I, I saw, but I don't think that really matters. So there, that's another layer. Another bit of cream. Cream on my fingers. And finishing off with some smaller bits, just for decoration on the top there. And there we have it, guys. Cranikin. How simple is that? I think that looks okay. And as they say, the testing is in the tasting. Okay, so, I mean, there's only one way to test it, really, and that's to taste it. I think I really need to take a bit of everything, so. Oats at the top, cream, bit raspberry. That's nice. That's really nice. Like I said, this is the first time I've had it. So the first time I've had it is me making it, which is kind of brave of me, I feel. Mmm. That's really nice. I'm loving that. Properly loving that. So there you have it, guys. Traditional Scottish Cranikin. Do me a favour. If you get the chance, try it. Go and make it. Send me a picture on Instagram, or you, if you haven't followed us on Instagram, here's my Instagram here. Follow me on Instagram, um, and let me let me see if you've made it, and let me see it, and tell me if you like it or not. Okay, I want to, I'm genuinely curious. I want to know. Uh, leave a comment and all that jazz. You know, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Come join Clan Brunford. We all we want you here, um, and uh, you know I always try to get back to the comments. I'm a little bit behind. I've not answered last week's comments yet, but I will. I'll probably do that tomorrow. Uh, thank you so much, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. A little bit different. Me cooking again. You know that's always fun. Um, uh, like I said, like, subscribe. Um, but, till next time. Bye, humans.